Hello, sweetie saints. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me again, Blossom. If you just recently found out my channel, please subscribe so that you will be updated up on my latest video. It's been a while since I posted my last video. That was three months ago. And I talked about the uh, divorce recognition process and the requirements that needed a lot of changes in my life. As you can see, the background also changed because I moved back here in actually in our main house. Just to explain to you, Divorce recognition process is only for a Filipino citizens married to their foreigner spouse in the Philippines. I was married to an American citizen in the Philippines like seven years ago to be exact. There's a lot of Filipino or Filipino that thinking that because you are already in the Philippines and you get married here, your spouse or foreign spouse is also subject to the law here. Once he, he or she went back to his country where the divorce is legal, he or she can actually file a divorce whenever he wants to and he can get away and he can get married while you're still married in the Philippines. That is the sad reality for us Filipino and it's really really not fair. You can feel my agony, you can feel my like that and my hatred towards my ex-husband like how could he do this to me? Like how can he just run away like that and he's not thinking about my status here. I was thinking that he was the selfish, meanest person I've ever met. But like, really create awareness. My divorce recognition is not easy to process. Like, I can put a lot of emojis down here and show you a lot of emotions that I felt that I'm still feeling up to this moment because I'm still have another process that I need to go through, which is changing the last name and my status. You will only have to process that once you were divorced by your foreign spouse in their country where the divorce is legal. What you need to do is just get the paper. Your final divorce, right? usually um, what they're going to send you is an electronic filing. So they're going to send it to you through email. That's not a valid document that you need to present in the Philippine court. What you really need to do is have the judge sign it and have the state secretary sign it as well and have the seal of the state, like state of Alabama, state of Washington. You gotta make sure that there's a seal on it. I'm gonna show you uh, the video of my papers or the documents that I obtained from the US. Don't know what we have to do, but someone's gotta change. You got issues that makes you a fuss, but someone's gotta change. If we never ever met before If I never opened up my door Yeah, 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 yeah If we never ever got to start if I... After that, I wanted to clarify this You need to get the marriage law in the state where the divorce was filed by your spouse, your foreign spouse Let's say you are in the Alabama state, like for me in my case what you need to do is get the Alabama code, the cover of the Alabama code that says Alabama code 19 whatever. So print that out and then the next page is like the table of contents that where you can see there the section that talks about the marriage, the law of the, the divorce and everything. It's like a table of contents. And then print that as well. And then after that, next would be the actual section where it states there that you are allowed to remarry up to how many pages you have to make sure that until the last page that talks about the needs to remarry you'll have to print that then that's it i think it would be like five pages or four pages so once it's done it's the same thing you have to make sure that there will be a, a seal attached to it and a signature of the state of the secretary i'll show you yeah, 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 You're about to lose me Just like that, just like that You're about to lose me Forever's never gone so fast
red ribbon like red but like what I've said on my other video that I read something that recently documents obtained in the US don't need or not necessarily have the red ribbon. You just have the seal and then you can use it. So that is something that I've read that I want you to double check by clicking the link. I posted the link as well. You will be able to read it. So those are the information that you really need. Those are the two important documents. Without those, you cannot start your divorce recognition process in the Philippines. Some of the lawyer doesn't know about it as well, especially if they haven't, they never had their divorce recognition. It's very rare that these things happen in the Philippines. Percentage of people doing that process is very minimal because we believe in marriage and we don't have divorce law in the Philippines yet. There's another question that was asked me how long it would take like I've answered it already. The process will take about one to three years. You really need to be skeptic or you have to really check all the time and get an update from the court of your case because sometimes they will not they will not tell you. If you hire a private lawyer it's good that you have to follow up with your lawyer. If you're going to use a public attorney's office, they don't care that much. You really need to do everything on your own. You have to go there, follow up, ask what's the status of this, go to the court, like when will be my next hearing. Sometimes they will reset and reschedule the court hearing because the judge went on a family vacation, um, they have a team building, they have a team meeting, and yada yada, and so many, you know, unacceptable reasons for us but what can we do they're the judge they're the one who you know um handles everything so anyway so the only thing that i can advise here bring a lot of patience in your pocket once you're processing or you started divorce recognition process in the philippines because i'm telling you there are moments <laughs> that you just want to kill yourself you want to end everything so that your agony will be done there are times that you're just gonna weep and cry and regret that you married a piece of crap, selfish person like that that doesn't really care about our process in the Philippines and he or she already got away in the US and get married or in a foreign country and get married to someone else. There are moments like that. It's really emotionally draining physically as well and um what do you call this financially so make sure to have a friend that you can always go to whenever you have this kind of mixed emotion that you're feeling every time your divorce recognition case been rescheduled or reset trust me i felt those emotion that's why i'm sharing this to you you just have to be very very firm of your decision the person will come back to you and say that i still love you i still want us to work things out yes okay you can just try to give him a chance but not with your divorce recognition you need to continue processing your divorce recognition then if things work out with you then go and apply and do the fancy petition and get married in the u.s that's something that i can advise to all of you so and the other question is like where do you want to file it make sure that you file the divorce recognition in the area where you live 
it's not a big hassle for you to like travel back and forth, you know, during the court hearing. Again, two important documents. Don't forget that, okay? Those are the only two important documents and the rest can obtain that in the Philippines, like your cinema, certificate of marriage, your marriage contract, um, your birth certificate, your photos, and other stuff. Thank you so much, my sweetie saint, for watching my YouTube channel. And I didn't know that I'll get that kind of watch, like 700 now. Thank you so much. I'm happy to help because when I did my process, I felt so alone and I felt like nobody knows or nobody understands my situation. My church leader doesn't know the process. My POW lawyer doesn't even know. I had a lot of misinformation. I went back and forth to US Embassy and went back to DFA because they didn't give me much details of where to read the ribbon, the paper, or the documents. Then when I went to US Embassy, the US Embassy told me that not here. It's not here in, the, in this embassy. It should be in the US Philippine Embassy. See, this video is for you to avoid those kind of hassles that I've been through. I want you to have a smooth sailing process for your divorce recognition. So if you haven't started, please, please start now. Move on with your life. Never ever go back. I'll show you and share you more about the why I said never ever go back. Anyway, and I hope that you've learned something from me. Please like, subscribe, and click the bell so that you will be updated to my latest video and latest post. And let's share this as well to other Filipinas who really need this kind of information so that they can be free and be single again and they can go get married and not stuck with that person who broke their heart and who played with their emotions and the loving wife.